Now for this next part, I could use VI to create my text files and edit them, but I find Notepad++ to be a little bit easier sometimes. Um, so I'm gonna use uh, NPPFTP, um, which is a plugin for Notepad, and I'm gonna configure it to use uh, SFTP or SSH really to, uh, to, to work with my files. So I'm just gonna create a new profile in here and the host name is going to be the public IP address of my LDAP server. So I'm going to copy that from here. And then my username is student. Make sure it's set to SFTP, which will use SSH. I'll just give it the same name and double click on it. Yes to accept the key. There we go, so I'm in. So now I can create my file. So the first file we need to create is um, the base.ldiff. Um, so let's create a new file, base.ldiff. And I'm gonna open that up. And we need to paste some contents into that file. All right, so it's gonna create our, our domain. So let's uh, go ahead and save that. Oops, sorry, I uh, copied the wrong contents here. Um, we already created the domain. What we have to do is um, we have to create an OU for users. So we have this, this domain created, but we have to kind of create a bucket where we're gonna put all of our users. So we're gonna create an OU for users. It has to have a uh, schema, right? So it's defined. The schema defines how you know we we create the attributes for all these objects that are going to be in this little database. LDAP at the end of the day is really just a database. It's a hierarchical database. Um, so this is going to basically create an OU called users that we can use to put those user accounts, and it's going to use a predefined schema. Um, so the 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 object class is essentially a definition of tables, right? Um, now there's no tables in LDAP, it's a hierarchical database, so it's a little bit different because it's a directory. But conceptually, it's kind of like making a schema for a database. Um, but this is importing a schema that someone's already created for us, and it happens to be aligned with the uh, shadow password suite in Linux so that we can use these user accounts with Linux that we create. So we're basically gonna create all of our users in LDAP, and Linux is gonna leverage that. It's kind of what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and save this. And then in order to use this, uh, we have to import it to our server. So now that I have that file, and by the way, if I use the LS command, you'll see that base.ldiff is here now. So to import that, we're gonna run a command. And I'm just gonna copy and paste it here so it's a little faster. So we're gonna use LDAP add, and we're gonna pass the, uh, uh, the name of the user that we want to run the LDAP add command. So it's gonna use the admin user that we created when we uh, configured LDAP and then and we use that full name right that's why you see it all written out there it's the it's the uh, distinguished name for admin it has all that stuff in the suffix and then we pass the file name which is base.ldiff we could have just typed this in with the command but it's a little bit easier to use a file right because then you don't mess it up so I have to put our password in again this is the one that we used earlier assuming you type the password right it should add it and now we have it in our server um, so now we're, at, we're ready to start adding our user accounts.